Hi, I'm here to talk about uh, FSS and its ability to change uh, day and to day and night and with the uh, day and night controls and the visual pinball. Uh, so I'm basically going to describe uh, how to get that to work, and that, and then after that, how what it gives you. So I'll bring up uh, the properties window in Visual Pinball where you have the user cu customization. This is uh, old Visual Pinball uh, 10.6. I guess it's 10.7 and under, so 10.6, 10.62, whatever. Uh, in this particular case, it's 10.62. And so if you want to change uh, to day and night on my FSS tables, you simply drag the, uh, the button on the day and night slider uh, from this from between what is shown in green in this image. You ignore the areas in red. Same thing goes if you're in 10.7 or 10.8. You stay within the green and you ignore the red. And there's a reason for that. And uh, also it describes here uh, what portion is considered day. So the three first notches is day. The three next notches is midday. And the three next notches are night. That's how it works. Uh, now this is one of two ways uh, to get this uh, to uh, to set up uh, day and night. But uh, there is another way if you have a launcher. Uh, if you have a launcher, here's an example on a command line. But if you have a launcher, you would have this this command in your launcher. Uh, you would simply add this portion right here. Uh, and set this to this value, GLES, to this value for day, you would set it to this value for midday, and you would set it to this value for night. So G dash GLES uh, with one of, the three, one of these three values. Now obviously there are 10 notches. Yes, you can set it to mid values if you want, that's no problem. It's just in my examples, I use the two extremes and one mid mid midpoint uh, to show. Uh, I I just use these. I actually don't use the in between values myself, and these are the most tested ones on the FSS tables. So I'll go and show you. Basically, uh, on the website, you see pictures side by side of these pinball tables, and you actually don't realize. Uh, when looking at those images, how extreme the day and night transition is. And in particular tables, it's, it's even more extreme because the tables have less elements like these, you know, early 70s and, and, and earlier uh, have less elements. And so the play field shows up a lot more and there's more room for dark areas versus lit areas, so they, they seem darker than the other tables. But in, a, in any case, uh, when you see the picture side by side, you say, huh, eh, yeah, it doesn't look you know, that extreme. But when you are lay them in, one in front of each other and you flicker them back and forth, uh, you really see the huge, this is mid, this is night, and this is day. So day, mid, night. And you can really appreciate the, the difference in uh, the, uh, the transition from day to night. And it's the same for other tables. Here's Congo, day, midday, night. So, you know, like I said, later tables, less apparent, but nonetheless, because a lot of things have to be managed to uh, to get that uh, proper dark darkness. Um, what else uh, could we show? Uh, I've just recently done xenon, so xenon at night. In this particular case, it's off. Well, idling, idling, and then on, and then uh, you get day idle, day on, middle idle, middle on end of night, night on. So uh, all, all these tables, you can really appreciate when you see them like this, layered, uh, how, uh, 
how ex extensive uh, the day and night transition is in these tables. Uh, so, some not so much because this, let's say, this is one of my early, early tables when I started all doing all of this, you know, and uh, this, in, in the dark, the table itself should be a lot darker, you know, all of the, uh, the plastics and so on and so forth, and even the, even the back glass. But uh, like I said, it's one of my first tables. I haven't changed it. I've kept it actually this way. Just to remind myself, I guess, uh, of, uh, of when I started this. And, uh, and then now I use, uh, I've even added new techniques now. My uh, FSS SDK is at 2.6.1. 2 so and I've added light mapping. I've added a whole bunch of new uh, uh, new sort of ideas I guess to uh, help in doing this it's too bad that the it's uh, so complicated to uh, to do there's a lot of tweaking there's a lot of steps and you have to run through the steps in the FSSDK to even do this and it's funny because you go through the steps and you go good god this table looks like crap <laughs> You know, and it's only once you've actually implemented everything that everything comes together and everything works. It's really a synergetic thing, you know. It's uh, it really depends on all its parts to uh, to work for it to work as a whole, and uh, that includes you know doing making the shadows, and then the negative sh negative shadows for the the night and then do the light mapping in this particular case yeah, there's no light not ma light mapping I actually use it more for this style of table it's uh, I've tested it on others and it's uh, it works best on uh, this style of table so anyway just wanted to give you uh, an idea of uh, what uh, uh, FSS tables look like day and night and how to get it to work.